Welcome to the next episode of um, Strolling with SK. This is like a new thing that I'm going to be doing. The first one I did was basically um, films that I had on my laptop and I needed to get some space. So we're literally just walking up at the moment. Unfortunately, we got them grass cutting here at the moment. It seems like he was in a different space earlier. And then as soon as you see me recording, <laughs> he wanted to start mowing. Now those houses over there would have been, can't really see it much because of the sun, but um, they would have been for the soldiers, the stables. And also if I'm correct, that was part of the hospital for Osborne. So when you sort of, That's it. Let's see if we can get it a bit there like that. But, you know, so when I say they, they died at Osborne, that's where they did. So there's the gardens. A lot of this place is unfortunately not open today. Um, due to obviously winter. Hopefully we can get in the house. And if so, that would just be upstairs. No, downstairs, sorry. Um, as upstairs is being redone. But that's not a problem because we can come back at another time. Yeah, for those who might want to visit, it's, a, it's an English heritage place as well. So, here we go. We're going to walk down now to the house. Unfortunately, not going to be able to record inside the house so i am debating whether to uh, go on my tour look at some of these beautiful flowers yeah you know, remembering this garden was done and designed by victoria and albert to make sure that the children grew up away from city life in london and we've got to also remember apart from London itself. Um, Prince Albert, yeah, he bought the Christmas tree for Britain, so you can imagine here the Christmas trees. There is a Christmas festival coming up, which I will come up and, and, and get some bits. But this place is used by dog walkers as well. We've got the walled gardens. We'll try and get to whatever we can outside. Fortunately, during the storms, we lost one of the old trees. Very sad. Up that way is the golf course. Yeah, tea rooms here as well. There's a lot of the garden, unfortunately, closed off because of the storms we've had and yet the more storms we've got coming, as we do tomorrow. It's a clock tower just up there. We'll get to see that better when we get round the front. Some of the ornaments. We've got, we've got some well, obviously goddesses' heads by the looks. I 
No. The horse and cart and had carriages, and this is the main entrance where she would come in with the royal parties. Gantries up there, obviously, where they would walk. Like a conservatory on the top. Under there. An old Victorian conservatory. And it goes through there as well. It's probably more to protect them from the winds and the rains during the winter season. Big dog in there. The horse and carriage would they'd come through here. And obviously stop there and then they would go through. There was Christmas tree up inside as well. Trees up on the top, as you can see. You can see the gantries up there as well. As well as one of the towers. If I'm correct, this is where the royal family would come out in public gatherings and such forth. You can see the royal window in there just by its its shape. And the craft and ship on the fantastic. I always say that the Victorians were the best. They were the greatest when it comes to architecture. So we are now in the Royal Garden. Obviously it's a different time of year. In the summer and the spring I'll, I'll come back and, and, and do some of them. But it's all oh, the flowers are lovely, the scent is stunning. Will you imagine the Royals walking through here and their functions? Been a, when I was speaking to them earlier, they were saying about you can't go down the bottom because paths have given way, the trees have come down. The ice cream parlour has had a what, four or five inches just flooding into it.
There we go. Yes. Obviously, we can't go down. We can go to these sort of parts, but all the way down the path down there, down there is the Royal Beach, uh, which we do sometime. It's got the Royal um, Swimming Cart, Ice Cream Parlour. I've been told also that I can actually take pictures in the house. There's the clock tower. The corn on the top, the flowers. Let's go this way because there's people walking up there. So in the water garden. Well, we're around, no doubt, where they, the Queen would stand and look over to Portsmouth. Not as it's looking now, obviously. The different trees here, they, they made it very exotic as well. They had trees and plants from all around the world. You can see the difference during. Summer, the, the flowers that they've had up, the plants. Water fountain. Serpents underneath. It's like red marble. Fantastic eagles. Could you imagine being invited to a function here in the summer's day? Now, what do we have here? There's a crown up there. Different crown here. Well, the roof's been recently repaired at the moment, so it's lovely to see him still doing it. That's a, a picture of what it looks like. Even the, 
even the feet on the bottom they look like swans maybe wrong look at these aren't they lovely Not your average garden audience. Hold a minute. A dragon. Or is it Pegasus actually? It could be. I don't know exactly because it's got a serpent tail. <laughs> it looks like they've all been cleaned up recently as well, which is lovely to see. Shell alcove, this decorated and highly ornamented above was constructed as part of Prince Albert's original version of the garden terraces at Osborne and has been recently converted and restored to its vivid 19th century appearance. Right. Albert outside, we can book always a picture of it. It's faded obviously with the weather and this is what it looks like. Out of new restoration. Absolutely gorgeous. The good paintwork. Talk to faces. See if we can zoom in on. Which is obviously to do like Roman stuff, right? Beautiful lions. I'm sure that lady with a Little child. Another ornate fountain. This one's still got the water in. I don't know if this has ever worked. Well, for a while I'm on about. You can see poles are in there. Lovely statue with a pole with grapes.
Uh, this is where they used to hang the grapes, I probably still do, maybe. What have we got here? The pagola sheet. This decorative garden sheet. So I was born in 1851 and has remained in this location ever since. Although it may look like a stone or marble, the seat is actually made of a canal or a parrot coal. An unusual material that becomes fashionable in furniture production in the second half of the 19th century. The cipher of the Victoria and Albert can clearly be seen carved into the back panel. Which there is what we see in St Mildred's Church. So this has been there since 1851 and not moved. Obviously they've cleaned and everything, but it's been in the same position. Lovely. And there's some of the royal children sitting on it. Flowers are flowering as well. This is early. It's not great. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, fantastic craftsmanship. More than a lovely garden. The minor. The old stairs, let's just walk up and then walk down the other side just to get the feeling of what it would have been like in those days coming back from a stroll down to the beach or through the gardens to see the statues or smell the newest fragrance that has been planted into the garden. Greyhounds. Obviously, the ground and the lurches were big in those days. Hunting. Up there. It can go up that way, but we're, we're going to save that for another time because that's where that Swiss cottage is. The children's playhouse, uh, the children's garden, where they all used to play. And that's shut at the moment as well.
I'll be fancy. No grey hand. Good hunters. Fighting with a goose. Lovely. <laughs> doors. Love the door there. Beautiful. Beautiful colours with the sun catching them underneath. So the carriages would have come down this road with the lights, which would no doubt have been gas or or flame inside of them at the time. Now, what we got here? We've got a cork of oak. One of a pair of trees planted by Prince Albert and Princess Alice in December 1847, the third child of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert. Prince Alice would have been four at the time. Uh, you can feel the, the corkness of it. Very different. Wow. Never seen I've been up there so many times I have never realised this was a cork tree. Never seen a cork tree. No. Uh, entrance again that way. So they would come they would come down here, the carriages, the way we came in, all down there, and then they would go down to there to the entrance. Another one of the old lights made modern. There's a, a crown on the top. Imagine somebody lighting that. There's a model outside the whole grounds of what Osborne was before. It overtook, he was overtook by various other little quarter numbers inside little discs to obviously give you the place where to go. And we, you know, we, we, we make sure that we come back and we will do more. And there's Osborne House itself in the model. Yeah, they do have toilets here as well, which is actually used using one of the old buildings, what it used to be, the old post box. 
、おいちしてよが。ビクトリア・ウダーニス・エネシュウス。ビクトリアン・パイスボックス・ウスカイ・ナイ・エイパイ。トゥ・イングリッシュ・ヘリティス・バー・ブー・マウト・コメモライト・エス・シンテナリー・セレブレーション・オブ・クイン・ビクトリア・1897・ダイモン・ジュブリー。ラブリー。There's the hospital and the、uh, where the troops all stayed. Didn't get much of it earlier on, but the stables have been there as well. But there are、uh, other businesses now. And down the bottom, That's the gatehouse.、Uh, that's, what's the, uh, that's what the security is now, the gate security, but that's like the gatehouse. We're going to have a quick spin across there because the tractor boy's gone. So, but we'll take a walk through there sometime. Excuse me. These old fences are part of the entrance, the original entrance of Osborne House. This would have been like part of the tradesmen's or the not so reputable guests. Metal. Cast iron. Got his pistol. And those for the、uh, America now. So this is what our high spot looks like now and what we've got on them now. And this is still Elizabeth. This here is part of、uh, the backside of the Albert Cottage. Part of the estate, and that there is the pathway that I was talking about where the servants go down between the houses. This we have here, this is the Queen's Gate. This is the gate that Queen Victoria was brought out when she died at Osborne House, who took to London. I'll put some pictures up as well, as you can see this. You n o w t s h i r t the top. And on the gates. This is VA, Victoria and Albert. Even the lights have got crowns on them there. That there is Albert Cottage. Another one of the, you know, the front end of the property, what was part of Osborne House, one of the estate. When Queen Victoria died, this would have been the route 
that she took down from Queensgate. Down this way, onto what's called Old Road. Oh, we've got some more info here, let's have a look. Eighteen thirty seven, this was a view from here. <coughs> which is the road we're gonna take down. Looking down hill towards West Cows across the fields and York Avenue was just a footpath. Furious driving, 1899. The policeman looks like a traction engine in his car. <coughs> he was driving in his cows. In, in early January 1899, Mr. Henry House, manager of the Liquid Fuel Engineering Company, East Cows, appeared before Newport Magistrates. He was charged with driving his motor wagon there at a speed greater than eight miles per hour to the public danger. Police Constable Scott and Mabor reported that they had compared watches at 10 p.m. and set themselves to deter motor vehicles travelling at excessive speeds in the vicinity of East Cows. P.C. Scott stood near Osborne Gate, which is Queen's Gate, and his colleague waited at the bottom of York Avenue, a distance of 1,633 yards. The accused covered the distance in just three minutes, an average speed of more than 18 miles per hour. The chairman of the board of the magistrate said that he understood how the public was terrified by the motor cars driven at such a furious pace. And fined house eight pounds plus eleven shillings cost. This was the very first motoring offence to be prosecuted on the Isle of Wight. The sculpture was Glenn Roberts, a friend of East Cow's project. So yeah. That there is a shot from the first speeding offence on the Isle of Wight. Yeah, they'll be coming down there, off of Old Road. Then down onto York Avenue, which really wasn't a massive great road at the time. So, uh, I'll, put, so I'll pause it because obviously we don't want to walk all the way down there. There's people coming up and everything, so we can come back to it as we go along. So it's up that way. All the way down to there. And this here, this is somebody who uses flats now. This is Kent House. This is where Princess Beatrice lived. Uh, going down York Avenue where they would have gone back up the road so she would have been brought down here obviously I'll be putting pictures on as well yeah this is York Avenue uh, wreck well these trees would have been here be not big but they would have been here when you come down down the road
Now this here, this is dedicated to the Romanovs. I'm hoping the light will allow me to pick it up. There we go. Yeah, this is to the Romanovs. Emperor Nicholas II. Empress Alexandra, Tsar Alex, Olga, Tatiana, Maria, Anastasia, and Grand Duchess Elizabeth, martyred during the revolution in Russia in July 1989. 1918, sorry. And there's flowers here, let's just move these a sec. And it's uh, from the places of martyrdom. Oh, no, yeah, it's lost me there. Placed here on the 3rd of July 2000 bicentennial bench to commemorate the birth date of Her Majesty Queen Victoria, Empress of India, 24th of May 1819, and the Royal Highness Prince Albert of Saxon Coburg and Gotha, 26th of August 1813. Unveiled by His Royal Highness the Duke of Kent. Emperor Nicholas II and Empress Alexandra. Board standard cows, second of August would have been a cows week sailing. King. Still continuing to walk down York Avenue. The houses over there. That's Frank James Hospital. Uh, that was the Frank James was actually killed by an elephant on travels, which maybe that's something I can do as well to find some history. All right, so. Down here on the other side, you can see cows. So she would have come down this way. Right, so she would have come down this way. That's down into the town. All the old buildings down there as well. 